All summer, as you no doubt remember, we watched as millions of gallons of oil gushed from the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico. But then a mystery. Where did all of that oil go? Now, some scientists say they have an answer. Here's Matt Gutman. For 86 days, BP's doomed well gushed crude oil into the Gulf, over 180 million gallons, 17 Exxon Valdez's. So where did it go? A NOAA study last month said 75% of the oil was scooped up, burned off, or evaporated. Now researchers say they have a simpler answer. It sank. The oil is not gone. It's in places where nobody looks for it. The stuff's on the bottom. A lot of it is on the bottom. Dr. Joy and her team have been taking core samples of the seafloor. She says they found a field of oil two inches thick, spreading as far as 70 miles from the wellhead. We're finding it everywhere that we've looked. I wonder if you uh, could pinpoint one thing for us that is most worrisome about your findings so far. There's nothing living in these cores other than bacteria. I have yet to see a living shrimp, a living worm, nothing. Joy, who cautions those findings are preliminary, says if those organisms are affected, eventually larger fish and perhaps humans may also be. In a statement, the government says it's working with academic scientists to monitor aggressively where the oil is subsurface. But that hasn't always been the case. In May, Joy was part of a team featured on this newscast that discovered giant underwater plumes of oil. At first, the administration demanded they stop talking about the plumes. Ultimately, the government and then BP acknowledged the plumes' existence. Do you expect to be hounded because of this discovery as well? Yes, I do. This time also, Joy says she has more research to do, but is convinced the evidence speaks for itself. Matt Gutman, ABC News.